friends! Today I'm going to talk about five different features that I use on Instagram to help with my business. They might be things you already know about or are aware of, but maybe you don't use them very intentionally. So let's dive into these five random features on Instagram that I think are really helpful for your business. Okay, so we are just gonna dive straight in. The first thing I wanted to talk about is location. So you can add this on your feed posts and you can add your location tags in your stories. So the reason I like the location tag is because it's super easy. It takes like two seconds, not even two seconds. You just click a button and then you pick which um, where you wanna show up. So I always just pick Austin, Texas because I don't want people to actually show up at my house. Um, but I like to do the location because if anyone's looking through that tag for anything, if anyone's searching through that area, then my stuff is going to pop up. And considering uh, my largest audience is in Austin and Texas because I've done events in the past and I have been in shops in the area. So I have a little bit more of a profile here, um, but also in uh, California and LA. So hi LA friends. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's really good to kind of embrace your local area, embrace your local community and start showing up there. So you can add the location in your stories. And this is really great too, if you have stuff in shops so we can help bolster shops right now who are doing like online delivery or curbside pickup. I'm filming this in the middle of the coronavirus madness. Um, so you can tag shops that way so then people can see their location and then other um, like other people who have tagged them and photos of their shop. So that's really helpful for our local shops. And it's good just to have you show up in the community. So I think it's a really good thing to do. And you can do it almost even as an afterthought. I mean, I just always click Austin, Texas every time I post anything. And it just helps people know who I am and where I'm from. So yay. All right, the second thing I really like to play with is video on my feed. So yes, you can use your stories. Yes, you can use IGTV. But the ability to use video on your feed is really important. So generally, videos on a feed get more engagement. They get more eyeballs on them. So what I like to do to make it not quite so crazy, not super intensive for you to make, you know, I'm not saying, you know, make giant videos and film it with the camera and subtitles and all this stuff. I'm talking like a boomerang, you know. So just take a pin. I like to boop, 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 so you can see the shine, see the glitter if there is any, just show a pen, boop, boop, just like that, and then more eyeballs will see it. And it's just fun, it's just a fun thing to see in your feed when you see people posting videos. So I would definitely recommend doing that. So I would challenge you to maybe do one a week or one every two weeks, just take a quick video with your phone in beautiful natural light with your with your pins, just do a little, a little side to side, and then post that. And then you can see how they do. So if you do like one a week, you can kind of compare them to your other posts and see how they do and see what works and see how people are responding. So I think that's a really good way to experiment with video, get your toe dipped in the water a little bit, and then maybe you can branch out to more um, IGTV later. So I'll make a whole video about IGTV later. <laughs> um, but right now I just want you to, I just want to challenge you to get some video in your feed. Okay, my third feature that I know you know about and I know you've heard me holler about before, but I'm going to talk about it anyway because it's important, is polls. So this is really great because any action someone takes on your account will make them more likely to see your stuff in the future. So even if they're moving a slider, if they're doing a poll, then um, they are more likely to see your content and you'll get more eyeballs um, on it that way. There are lots of different ways you can incorporate polls. So you can like actively ask for their opinions on colors, designs, things like that. Um, but you can also be really silly and these are kind of my favorites. So um, you can take a picture of your pet. <laughs> and you know be like what are they dreaming about treats or treats <laughs> you know or like are you a cat person yes or duh <laughs> um, and just any kind of silly action you can have people take will just make them more likely to see your content which is ideal because you want more people to see your stuff all right so a relatively new thing that Instagram has added is seeing your mentions 
So when you go into your little heart and look up at the top, you'll see if anyone has talked about you in their stories. And this is really great because it puts all of the stories all in one spot. So you can go through, see who's talking about you, and then you can reshare those. And sharing the content that people share about you is really great social proof. So this shows your followers that people are so into your stuff that they want to share it on their platforms and talk about it to their friends, which is really really important they're like mini testimonials so I would also encourage you when you get these when you're sharing them if you see that it's something really sweet that someone's like really excited about and writes a note screenshot that just for yourself so when you're having one of your low days when you're like why am I even doing this you can pull up that folder and look at all of these amazing screenshots of people who are super excited and love your work so this is kind of a twofold thing so definitely check out your mentions definitely reshare things that people have shared. I also like to use this as an opportunity whenever I reshare something on my stories that people have shared. How many times have I said the word share? <laughs> um, then I like to personally message them and just be like, thank you so much for sharing. You know, just give them a little bit of recognition. It's not just that you're reposting because that's super easy, but taking a second to reach out and be like, oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> that's amazing. I'm so glad you liked it. You know, just a few extra words to show your support for them, to show your appreciation, and just to, to get the algorithm moving too, because any conversation that you have on Instagram is good. So um, yes, definitely check out your mentions, definitely share them in your stories. All right, the last thing is maybe a little boring, uh, maybe a little nerdy, but I'm into it, is the individual post insights. So if you look at your posts on Instagram, your view will show you post insights and then you can promote it if you're a business. And I like to look at my individual post insights just to check and see how a post is doing like for the day. So if I'm not getting a ton of engagement, I'm not getting a ton of shares, you know, I have kind of a purpose for each post. And, you know, if I'm not seeing what I want to see, then I can track that using the individual post insights and then I can kind of signal boost it. So if I'm seeing that it's not getting engaged and a lot of engagement or a lot of comments, I can maybe shoot it over to stories again because I always shoot my stuff over to stories, new post, yay. Um, but if it's still not getting the engagement I want, then maybe I will send it over to stories again and be like, no, seriously, tell me what you think about blah, blah, blah. So if my question, like if I have a CTA that's like, uh, tell me your cat's name. Okay, something simple, a little thing, then I can send it over to my stories and be like, no, seriously, I really want to know what your cat's names are <laughs> in this post. Tell me in the comments uh, because I've already gotten some good ones. You know, something like that. So then I can kind of shoot it over and then maybe people who haven't seen the story for the day um, or like it just kind of gets moves the story back up in the queue of things so people can see and then you can like really uh, reiterate like no really go look at this post go right on it <laughs> you know something like that you can also share that post with a poll going back to the polls so you can be like hey did you see this did you see this photo today yes or no you know or um, yes or OMG, no, I'm going to go look at it right now. You know, something like that. So people can engage with it and you're kind of giving them, the only options you're giving them is like, go look at this post, go tap this post, <laughs> you know. So yeah, it's just a really great way to kind of keep an eye on what's going on. I like to look, you know, at my week and my month, see what's doing well, um, see what performed well for, you know, all my various things. I've got a video all about <laughs> what I like to look at um, for Instagram. But yeah, it's just knowledge is power. It's good to know. So I like to pop in and, and check it out and see what's going on on my post. All right, so that's it. Those are the five features on Instagram that I'm super into right now. Um, if you found this helpful, let me know. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, all that stuff. If you wanna know more about Instagram and growing your following, then um, hit the link below. I have a free webinar all about it. Um, these are kind of timeless, 
strategies that I use. So I'm talking about, you know, photos, taking photos, uh, writing engaging captions, stuff like that. Things that are important to growing your following and nurturing the people that are already there because that's what matters. Um, you can have a hundred thousand followers, but if none of them really care or support what you're doing, then it's just a number. It doesn't matter. So there are people who have um, way less followers than me who make way more than me <laughs> and people have way more followers than me that make way less than me so it's all about nurturing and supporting the community that you have and you know trying to branch out when you can but making sure that the content that you're making is um, is helpful to your business so um, that's why I picked out these five things I think they're they're really helpful to um, help with your creative business, just little things that you can, little levers that you can pull um, to help see a little bit more traction. So I hope that was helpful. Um, give me a phone emoji <laughs> in the comments if you found this helpful, if you made it to the end. <laughs> and let me know which one you're going to try this week. Um, I want to know I want you to hold yourself accountable and uh, try to incorporate some of this stuff this week. So let me know in the comments what you're going to do, which one uh, feels best, which one you're most excited about. And yeah, let me know. We'll chat. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.